dead. He doesn't have... He killed his wife. He killed her father. And he, I can't even believe this is happening. Okay. And did this happen in Nightdale? Uh, no. The, 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 his wife and father are in New York. Okay, and, so the but, but actually... he left. He left the baby dead when he left. Okay, where did, where did he leave the baby? Okay, he said it was in the... 1995, Stephen Plato, he meets this beautiful 15-year-old off the worldwide internet. They get together, they're in love, and they have their first baby, a little girl named Denise. And they love Denise, well, at least Alyssa does, And but Stephen... He comes out of nowhere and starts like abusing the baby, like pinching the baby, hitting the baby. So Alyssa is like, oh my gosh, he scared me and I don't want anything bad to happen to my baby. So she gives baby, baby Denise, up for adoption. Now baby uh, Denise, um, she's adopted and her adoptive parents, they love on her. They change her name to Katie. On her 18th birthday, they had always told her that she was indeed adopted. So on her 18th birthday, she sets out to try to go meet her biological parents. So she finds, successfully finds her biological parents, Mr. Stephen and Alyssa. And they are still living in the same home and they have two other daughters, but they are going through a separation slash divorce katie even though she sees all the strife in the house she's like you know what i want to move in i want to move in i want to get to know you guys like i want all of this i want to get to know you so she moves in with steven and Alyssa and their other two daughters her sisters and at that point steven develops this like obsession unhealthy relationship with katie and Alyssa is like, whoa, what is going on? She tries to come and check Stephen. Like, you're sleeping in her room on the floor. As he say, he was on the floor. He was sleeping on the floor. And she's like, that doesn't make me feel comfortable. You sleeping in this girl room every night on the floor. Alyssa's like, you know what? I don't want a part to this. I'm out. So she moves out with her two daughters. And Katie stays with dad like she's riding with her daddy she rocking with her dad like this is what it is um Alyssa talks to Katie she warns Katie like yo your dad tried to kill you when you were an infant Katie's like yeah that was in the past it's okay I forgive him and uh she proceeds to stay in the house with daddy Steven now the little girl one of the little girls she's about 11 years old and um Alyssa and Steven were sharing custody. So little girl comes home, she's writing in her journal, in her diary. And she mentions that her sister, her big older sister is pregnant with daddy's baby. And Alyssa explodes. She calls 911 and she's like, yo, this is some incest stuff going on over here. I don't know what's going on, but y'all need to step in and get involved. And uh, the police, does absolutely nothing. Stephen is so upset that Alyssa has called the cops on them that he, you know, files for divorce. And two months after his divorce is finalized with Alyssa, in 2017, he marries his own biological daughter. He marries her. And not only do he marry her, guys this is the twisted part his family his mother supports it like there's a picture of his mother at the wedding and also her parents standing there smiling like this is the most complete and normal situation that has ever happened in the history of america after the two were married she gives birth to a baby boy and they are arrested a few months after she gives birth they go to jail the police arrest them on incest and um they get out of jail um the judge orders katie to allow the little boy baby to go stay with steven's mother so steven mother um has custody of the baby that they had together the adoptive parents told katie like no more of this 
this is weird this is getting big like let's stop so Katie actually at this point it's like she's two years older from her 18 so now she's in her 20s and I think she kind of woke up she calls up Steven like hey I can't do this anymore this is like really weird and I'm not comfortable and she visits the baby and then she goes back to her adoptive parents house and her and her adoptive dad they get in the car and she's going to go up north to New Jersey or New York and stay with her um, adoptive grandmother. But Stephen is so upset, he gets pissed. And not only do he get pissed, he goes and he picks that boy baby up from his mother's house. He picks the baby up. He takes that baby back to their home in North Carolina. Um, I think it was like Nightdale, North Carolina. He gets that baby and he kills that baby at the house. He beats the baby. He like smothers the baby and he puts the baby dead body in the closet. And then he gets in his car and he drives. He follows um, Katie and her adoptive dad. He sees them. They're right in um, New Jersey. He pulls up. He shoots them both. He calls his mother. He say, Mama, I killed the baby. The baby is at the house. The dead body's in the closet. And I also put the front door key under the mat on the porch. You need to call 911. I also killed Katie and her adoptive dad. And then he drives a little bit more before he kills himself in New York. This was a tragic story that didn't have to happen if one of the adoptive parents or somebody else would have stepped in early on. I do commend Alyssa because she did try. And you will notice how Steven and his mother, they never identify Katie as uh, his daughter. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let's talk about this. This is Daisha and here is the clip of the 911 call. One out of the emergency. Yes. Um, uh, my son just called me and uh, he told me he. Okay, tell me exactly what happened. Uh, he, he's, I, I, he's, he's not home. His wife broke up with him over the phone yesterday and he told me she's in New York and he told me he was. On his way, he called me last night and said he's on his way. He's going to bring the baby to her, and then he was coming back. And he just, he just, okay. he said he doesn't have, he killed his wife, he killed her father, and he, I can't even believe this is happening. Okay. And did this happen in Nightdale? Uh, no, the, the, the. His wife and father are in New York. Okay, and, so the incident but, but actually... he left. He left the baby dead when he left. Okay, he where, did, where did he leave the baby? Okay, he said it was in the... And he called me this morning. I, I just got up the phone just a couple of minutes ago. And he told... And I... Oh, God. He told me to call the police that I shouldn't go over there. Okay, so the son is... Uh, so your son is not there? No, though the house is empty. Oh, he said he put a key under the front mat. To take a key to get into the house under the front mat. Did he say how oh, he my. did it? Or what no, he did? and I, I didn't ask him. I didn't ask him. I didn't want to know. Oh my God, he's such a wonderful little. Okay, hold, hold, hold on just a second, okay? 